What's up guys, Twerk17 here coming at you with another hardware review video. Uh, we haven't done one of these in a while, but we did get the T-Flight rudder pedals from Thrustmaster, straight from Thrustmaster, uh, who, funny story, I reached out to probably a year ago and didn't think I got an answer back when in fact I did and never saw the email. So I messaged them back and said, hey, do you guys still care to do anything with me? And they said, sure. So they sent me out these T-Flight rudder pedals and we're gonna give them a try and give a little review on them and see how they work in our game that we like to play, Star Citizen. Now, once again, I do feel obligated to say that Thrustmaster did send these pedals out to me, but this review is entirely my own opinions. Thrustmaster didn't tell me to say anything. They just simply said, enjoy the product and let us know what you think about it. Okay, now that we're through with that, I wanna talk about the build quality right off the bat. When you pick up the box, it's pretty lightweight. The product comes all in one piece, so there's no putting anything together, and it's made of mostly plastic. And you know, your initial thoughts when you pick up a product that's plastic is you think it's cheap. But very similar to the throttle on the T16000M Hotas, it's made of plastic, but it's very hard, sturdy plastic. Doesn't bend, doesn't move, and it's very, very durable. Even though it's made of plastic, it feels high quality, it feels good. So initial feelings, it feels really good. Now, it being lightweight, right away, my next thought is that when I'm using it, that it's gonna be moving all over the place. Well, it has really, really good rubber bases. I think there's about six of them, three across the top, three across the bottom. And when I tell you this thing doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere when you're using it. If you do have pets or you have a dusty house, you may wanna wipe it down and wipe down the product every now and then, and it should stay very, very much in place while you're using it. One of the coolest things about the T-Flight rudder pedals is that it works with the entire Thrustmaster Flight Sim ecosystem. And if you go to their website or even on the box of the product, you can see a big image of all the different hardware pieces that Thrustmaster has made that this product works with. Uh, I'm going to overlay that image on the screen so you guys can see it and see if you own one of these products and see if it works within uh, the ecosystem for you. But, you know, it works with the more expensive Warthog Hotas. It works with the more budget entry level T16000M Hotas. And it even works on a PS4. But more importantly, it works standalone. So if you want to connect it to one of the... Thrustmaster products, it has a little, like, it almost looks like a phone jack that you can connect into it and can connect into my Thrustmaster Hotas. You can also connect into, if you just use the T16000M and you don't use the throttle, you can connect into that. But more importantly, it can work on its own separately. So if you don't have any other Thrustmaster products, but you were in the market for some pedals, you have a USB connector that you put that little phone jack looking thing into, and it's a USB 2 connection and you can just put it right into your computer and it works on its own, which makes it even better. So if you're in the market for just some pedals to go with your setup, whether it's Thrustmaster or not, this is a good budget level rudder pedal setup for you. All right, and the final thing that I wanna talk about with these pedals is their actual application in a game like Star Citizen. So for just general flying, I have the rudder portion of the pedals on my strafe right and strafe left. This is beneficial for those of you that are using my T16000M HOTAS setup, where we have the strafe up, down, left, and right on the little joystick on the throttle. Uh, sometimes when you try and strafe up, you end up strafing a little bit to the left and right when you may not want to. So now I'm able to take strafe right and left off of that and put it on my feet, which makes the strafing up and down perfectly up and down, which is really, really nice. Now, the issue that I have with it is that the pedals are a little bit sensitive. So I don't have any flying applications on the forward and back portion of the pedal, like the gas pedal movement, because they're a little bit too sensitive and I hit them too often when I'm trying to fly around. Also, the actual rudders are a little bit sensitive. So while I'm flying and trying to fly at high speeds, I'm actually not able to reach max speed because I'm strafing right or left. And in Star Citizen, that slows you down. So I need to create some dead zones either in the Star Citizen software or their options menu or the Thrustmaster software on their website. Now in combat, the experiences are very similar. I basically just use the pedals to strafe right and strafe left. 
The only benefit of this is it allows me to focus a little bit more on my hands and actually aiming at the target, which I don't do very well in this video. I'm not a very good combat pilot, so I apologize. Now, the real reason I asked Thrustmaster for these pedals in particular was to use them with mining. The mining laser and the mining throttle are very difficult to control in Star Citizen. The default control scheme for them is the mouse wheel and you move it up and down. If you're a joystick user and you're flying around with your ship, you really can't afford to take your hand off your joystick and put it on your mouse. So I put it on my 216,000M and the little throttle right behind the joystick. But the problem with that is that throttle is really short. So when you move it up and down, you end up overcharging the rock too often because it's just not a wide enough range. So if I move it up a little bit, it shoots up or it shoots down and it's not really easy to manage. So I thought, what a great application if I can place the axis of the mining laser on my right foot and make the little gas pedal motion. And you could be so, so fine because it's such a natural movement for someone who drives a car. And I've had such a great experience in mining in Star Citizen with this ever since, and I don't think I can ever go back. And not only that, but I also expect similar game mechanics like this in the future in Star Citizen. And maybe you can apply that to your left foot for salvaging, or for scanning, or for hacking, or for anything that comes in the future that requires an axis of movement in Star Citizen. I have an open foot now on my left foot, and I can use that. So I'm really excited. I really am happy with the pedals in particular for mining and just in general overall in Star Citizen. I don't really play any other flight sims, so I'm sure you can find an application in other flight sims like DCS or Elite Dangerous and games like that. But for me, mining in Star Citizen is where I'm really, really happy with this product. And all right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video for today. I really want to thank Thrustmaster for sending me out these pedals. I really, really appreciate it. And once again, if you guys want to see videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, throw a like on the channel, and let me know what you thought about the video, and if you have any other ways that you use pedals in Star Citizen, let me, in, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.